How did it, what the, what the, did you, how, what, what? This is Frank to the Moon, my two-year-old mini Australian Shepherd. And I'm Joey. We all know that these dogs are high energy and they require a lot of attention. So let's talk about the jobs that I give them. And no, one of them's not get me a beer, even though I wish it was. I can just take that from you. So you live in the dream. You should see it through someone else's side. Another cipher to break. While the grass grows underneath my feet. Welcome back to the... Okay, you gotta show off or something? Cause you're feeling all better? <laughs> Frankie's feeling a lot better and I wanna say thank you again to all the comments and all the people who message me and like, just, just thank you. You know who you are. Today we are adventuring, again, not at a dog park, just because we still have to wear masks in dog park. It's really hot. I just, I didn't wanna deal with that plus having to film. Oh my God, this guy is happy today. And so we're going on a little adventure, eh? It is about like 20 something degrees out, which is insane. That's not very normal for Ottawa. Um, so we're just taking advantage of that. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of like real big sun. So if you can't see me or anything that's happening, I apologize, but we're just enjoying it today. I'm gonna have some fun. The main question I get with Aussies is, you know, how do you exercise them? How do you really drain their energy throughout the day? Because obviously walks don't necessarily work for this breed. And so I figured I would go over that. So here are the five jobs that I give my Australian Shepherd. Okay, we gotta go back and get the camera. We have to go back and get the camera. <laughs> I know this sounds so silly, but this is one of them. Frankie loves filming. He understands that I leave the camera, we gotta go there and we gotta come back. He loves it, he understands it, which is really weird. I don't expect anybody to understand this, but training your dog to take photos or record video after the repetition of doing it so many times, they actually really get used to it and they actually really enjoy it. And he's staying here because he knows I'm talking to the camera. And again, I know it sounds crazy. It sounds like I'm out of this world, but we're YouTubers. <laughs> we're not normal people. See, I'm filming him right now. What dog wouldn't be running away? He knows that we're filming. He, look at him. He's looking right at us. <laughs> yeah, he's putting on a show. He knows. You know you're on camera, don't you? Yeah, you know you're on camera. <laughs> nice job, buddies. One of the biggest tips that I have for people who are trying to get their dog into posing for the camera or recording video or anything like this is to be patient and is also to exercise beforehand. To, in order to get the photos that you see on Frankie's Instagram, we're at the park for an hour to two hours and to get like the photos where we're putting flower crowns on him and stuff like that, he had a full day of exercise so that he's tired enough to just deal with our shit. <laughs> Now number two is a little bit different and uh, I can't do it on a day like this. It's a little bit too hot for him because it's 20 degrees out, but I take him for a run. When I lace up my certain shoes and I grab his certain running belt, when I grab those two things, he knows that we are going to run. This is a different mission than what we normally do. This isn't him being off leash, like going to the dog park, running, blah, blah, blah. He understands that we're going a certain pace and he truly enjoys it. And <laughs> it's always fun when I get to race him at the end. So 
for those who want to get their dog into running, I really recommend doing a training run first. I don't recommend just grabbing the leash and going. Grab the leash and do intervals. Do some walking, do some running. Don't just expect your dog to know how to run and know the position they're running in. Do some training, it's just like anything else. You got a bug in your butters. And just because your dog is running faster doesn't mean you have to. You can slow them down, and that's when the training really helps. They're a great running companion, but also know whatever breed that you have. Uh, know their distance that they can run. Try to run them on grass as best as you can. I really like running Frankie in the winter because it's a little bit less hot. And bring water with you. That's a big one. Hey mister, we need some water. You want some water right now? He thinks I'm getting something else, which is kind of sad, but I'm just getting water. No, 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 it's just water. Which means he's probably not gonna drink it. Want some water? <laughs> Good boy. Drink. Come on, drink. Here. This is why I don't pour the whole thing in because I know he's not gonna drink it. We need a new water bottle. Does anybody have any recommendations? Can you leave them down below? Because this one's just falling apart. I love it because I can carry food and water, but mainly we just need it for water right now. So leave it down below. But now I think it's time. Oh, there's another dog over there. We might do another lap, bud. Just to make sure there's no dog goes around. While we do our little lap, I'll talk about it. Frankie loves playing Frisbee. This is something that I thought was just gonna be fun to do, but he's gotten so good at it that I'm thinking about making it, you know, more of a sport. And he definitely thinks it's his job because when that thing's out, he's very addicted to it. I know there's a lot of people who's gonna come and be like, oh my God, he's too obsessed. Listen, he loves to do it and I do it in moderation. I just give it to him when I want him to do it. Um, and he's just getting so good, I kinda wanna invest in the sport a little bit more, but it's kinda hard with COVID. All we're doing is our own stuff, but that really, gets him tired because it's not only just throwing the frisbee, it's also doing a lot of tricks. How did it, what the, what the, did you, how, what, what? Now moving on to Frankie's fourth job. He joins me when I have to go drop off my packages when I'm shipping out my book, or when I'm shipping out some clothing, or just any trip to any store ever. Now this was more of a thing when we were in COVID. Let's get up here, good guy. This was obviously more of a thing when we were not in COVID, he would join me on these little trips and that would actually really help him not be so frightened from like going in the car and stuff, but we haven't been able to do this. There's a bug on the lens, get out of there. But we haven't been able to do this, so he's a little bit scared, more of the car. But he's really, really good, especially when I put on his certain harness where he knows he's gonna be doing that job for the day. He's really awesome, all I need is a handful of treats and he's very happy to join. are these little hikes. They don't have to be anything big. They don't have to be anything long. We go to Limerick Forest, we go to Marlboro Forest, we go swimming, we go to dog parks and just take new trails every single time to kind of make it a little bit more adventurous. He's a really good hiking buddy, especially when I'm filming because you know he has two jobs. Sometimes I wear my running belt when we're hiking if I, he's not allowed to go off leash or anything like that or I don't know the place. That works perfectly and it allows him to you know, still be a little free, give a little pull, and not destroy me because it has a little bungee in it. But overall, he really likes it. He enjoys coming along and staying with me. And I really encourage all of you to go and explore new places. Not only is it fun for your dog, but it's also fun for you to kind of get out there and be a little bit more adventurous, and it's gonna make you fall in love with your dog even more. You having a little nap? 
<laughs> I know it's a pretty scary thing to adventure new places and go new places that you've never been before, especially adding something that you love and you never want them to get hurt. But I promise you, if you have the right dog, they're built for it. Get them out, they're begging. They have an experience an adventure like this, they want to. I really, really recommend it. Like, you can't tell me that this guy's not happy to be here. We haven't even gone, we've done the same loop like three times and he's just happy. That tongue on the side means he's dehydrated, but he won't drink because every time he thinks he's getting a frisbo. <laughs> Let's get going. Going this way. Nice. 